Okay guys, so today the 97 is going to be in the shop all day. And we are trying to fix a couple things I'm just going to point out really quickly here. First of all, cylinder number four, dead middle of the back head back here, has a misfire that will not go away. Um, I'll tell you what we've done with that so far in just a minute. Also back here, the belt tensioner assembly back there is coming apart and is going to have to be replaced. So we're going to be digging into this thing and seeing what's going on. Okay, so basically, um, cylinder four misses mostly at idle or very low RPM, not when you're driving around. Things that I've checked so far to catch everyone up is change spark plugs, checked wires, even changed that wire to see, changed coils to see if that was what it was. Um, no change with any of those. Tested the injectors as well as swapping injectors from one cylinder to the other. The misfire didn't move, so we know it's not fuel either. Um, compression test came back low on that cylinder. Not incredibly low, but low enough. But it passed the cylinder leak down. So the first thing we're going to be doing is yanking the back of it apart so I can get at the valve train stuff and see if I can find any problems there. And then we'll see what we got from there. going on after pulling the rear valve cover everything looked fine so since I didn't see any problems there um, I went ahead and we are going a little bit deeper so I'm about to pull the supercharger off right now and then the lower intake and then we're gonna look at the push rods and the uh, lifters and if we don't see any problems there the rear heads coming off been a development the um, I got the cylinder head off which you can see right here and I didn't see anything wrong still so we kept looking and pulled out the lifters and found this if I can get it to focus on that that on the bottom of the intake lifter to cylinder four so I'm trying to see basically at this point what the camshaft looks like down there because that's some pretty odd wear. Um, hold on a second. So, and I'm seeing something in there that I can't see very well that does not look right. So we're going to get into that and I will update you in a minute. Okay, so we found the culprit finally. I can at least say I know what's wrong. The lifter that I pulled out that was so pitted and torn up on the bottom, I went and stuck a scope down the hole, took a really good look at the camshaft, and unfortunately that cam lobe is worn really badly. Which does explain everything that I saw in the leak down test and it does explain the low compression and explains why it's missing. So unfortunately I was prepared for pretty much every scenario but this one. So 
I don't know what we're doing next, but uh, pretty much at this point, we're going to bum a ride home from somebody and regroup and figure it out from there, but I don't know. So, going to let this one go for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I will hopefully let you know within a few days here what we end up doing.